Welcome back to another Power BI 3 minute tip. If you're liking these quick Power BI tutorials, make sure to hit the subscribe button and the bell. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to group your data based on a column. And this is an operation that's similar to a SQL group by clause, and we can do that using one of the built in Power BI features. So the way we do that is we go to edit queries. And we have a few tables in here, so we'll look at the fact internet sales table that we work with pretty often. So we have all these different columns. So let's say we want to group our data to see our total sales by the individual date. So you see that there are a couple of rows here that have the same date, 2013, January 3rd. Uh, so we have multiple rows with the same date, so we can group them and get the sum or sum aggregate based on this date column. So let's go ahead and do that. So there's a group by button on the home tab. So if we click that group by, there are a couple different options here. There's basic and advanced. We'll cover basic in the beginning. And we can group by a certain column by specifying this. We will specify our order date key. And we can name our new column. We'll call this uh, summed. And we can specify which operation that we want to choose. So we can count the number of rows, or we can sum, or take the average, median, min, max, or a couple of different other ones like count distinct rows. So we're going to go ahead and take the sum as a nice intro, and we're going to sum the sales amount column. Uh, that is right here. So we're summing the sales amount based, grouping based on the order date key. So we'll go ahead and click OK. And it gets rid of all of the columns except the date, uh, the column that we are grouping on and our new summed column. So we can see on December 30th, 2012, we actually had $34,000 worth of sales. And on December 31st of 2012, we have $43,000 worth of sales. So that's a really easy way to perform just a basic group by that you would see in a SQL query. But if you already have your data in Power BI and you don't have that uh, possibility to do it in SQL where it's very easy, you can go ahead and do it using the built-in Power BI feature. Uh, there, You can do this using DAX, but that would take, uh, first of all, that would take a little more knowledge of DAX and would also take some time to calculate that as well. But we can go ahead and go through another couple examples of where we would group by. So let's get rid of that and it brings us back to our source table. So we can group by again. And now this time we can do an advanced uh, group by. So this allows us to specify multiple groups or multiple aggregation steps. So we're going to do multiple groups here and we're going to use the same order date key and our next grouping is by product key. So basically what this means when you group by multiple columns is it groups everything by order date key. So you can have a few different rows with order date key and everything that has a different product key will go into its own separate row. So let's go ahead and take the, we'll do the count rows. So we'll call it count. And you don't actually have to specify a column when you count rows. We can go ahead and click OK and see this in action. So we now have these two columns. These are grouped by columns and we have our count column. So based on the grouping of the date and the product key, we can see how many orders we had given those two group by columns. So this is a really handy way to group your data, much like a SQL group by. So if you like this video, make sure you subscribe to the channel and I will see you in the next Power BI 3 Minute Tip.